Let's head back to Etihad Stadium where Cam Mooney has the North Melbourne skipper Jack Zebel with him. Moons. Well, Jack, round two, you needed that win to get this club off to the season and, and more importantly, win today. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge day for our footy club. Um, the significance of the day is the loss on the players. We did a few visits during the week to the, to the Royal Children's Hospital and, and you realise how lucky you are uh, when, you, when you go and visit a place like that, that everyone in your family is healthy and unfortunately there is kids who don't deserve to be there that are down there and um, you really prioritise the importance of football and life, um, but it's also good to play on a day like today to be able to raise some serious money for, for the kids and um, for our footy club to pioneer footy, football on Good Friday, I think it's a great effort and, and it's up to us as players to, to put a good show on for the fans and try and keep that for our footy club. How much of a perspective does it put on the players, particularly the young players, you, they get drafted and they think, you know, the world's their oyster, but then all of a sudden they go to hospital and they see what's going on there. Oh, it's huge. Um, a lot of young guys don't realise uh, the impact, yeah, the yeah. impact they can have on some young kids as well. And if we can go into some, some kids in the, the Royal Children and put a smile on their face for five minutes um, and take their mind off, you know, what they're going through, it can make a huge impact on their, their day and their lives. And for our young guys to go through that is, a, is really important to understand what sort of impact they can have. But also, I think that the guys who have kids as well realise how lucky they are. So... I don't have kids, so I'm not like that, but um, I understand that kids shouldn't be in there at all, full stop. They don't deserve to be to be sick in hospitals. And um, whatever we can do to help, then by far that's what we're going to do. Give yourself a few more years, mate. There you go. Take all your sleep away, let me tell you. Uh, let's talk about that second half. Outstanding second half of football. It was. It was. Um, we were quite pleased with how we went about it in the, in the first half. It was a pretty error riddled half of footy the first half. And uh, we, we created a few scoring shots. We didn't take your opportunities, but we understood if we kept the pressure up and winning the ball in a contest, you know, it's going to be, be hard for us to, to be beaten and I think we did that really well in the second half. Good on you, mate. Appreciate your time. Thanks very much. Thanks, mate.